Hey friends, John Reinhardt here, and I just wanted to welcome you to the John Reinhardt Real Estate Channel. Today's episode is going to be about virtual open house. Should you have them? If you do have them, how do you have them? And what are some tips and techniques that you can use to help your virtual open house be better? Stay tuned. So friends, with coronavirus, it's very difficult to show a house. As a matter of fact, it's impossible. So we have to come up with other ways to show houses and do open houses. So we're doing them now. We're just doing them virtually. I did my first one last week and I said, you know what? Let me share this concept with everybody else out there because we need to get the momentum going and we need the buyers to understand that it's a good way to see a house you know and get some activity going in the marketplace and it also satisfies the seller's deed the seller's like what are you guys doing for me during this coronavirus time and how are you helping me to sell the house so my goal is to help us to show the sellers that we're adding value help us to get listings that we haven't gotten before because the seller said, well, what are you going to do anyway? Well, we're going to show them that we can do virtual open houses and we can attract some excitement and interest in, in their home. So the one I did last week was very interesting. I, one person that saw it is coming back with their wife for a second virtual uh, tour, guided virtual tour, it's called, because I'm on the other side of the phone answering their questions. Uh, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to see how it works. So anyway, we're in the early stages of this. I'd like to see a lot more of these virtual open houses. Therefore, I'm going to do this quick video. Now, my way is not the only way, and it may not be the best way, but it is a way to do a virtual open house. So let's get started. I'm going to go into, uh, into the program, and uh, I hope that you get some great things out of it. So basically speaking, I'm going to go into... Uh, a couple of main points in this program today, you know, hosting a virtual open house. Wow. Should you do one now? That's, that's a main question. You know, some people are sitting back, well, well I don't know why I need to do this. It's not going to get anybody to really get to contract anyway. We're going to talk about that. I think you should do one now. Well, what are the requirements? What software do I need? Do I need a special computer? And then there's another requirement, you know, that I really want to talk about also. I'll go into the exact technology I use, and I'll go into uh, other things that I've heard other agents and brokers around the country are using. Uh, and then I want to go into something else. Like I said, don't worry if it's not perfect. Don't worry if you're, you're uncomfortable uh, on the internet. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it really doesn't. I mean, you really just have to be yourself and walk people through a house just like you would in real life. We'll teach you the techniques, teach you the tools. And if you need help with these open houses, reach out to somebody and let them help walk you through the technology part of it. I'm happy to help you as well. As a fellow broker in our marketplace, if anybody needs help with a virtual open house, I will be happy to guide you through the technology part. You can be the voice on the microphone talking to the people, you know. So if I can help you through this process or if you want to do a, a dry run with me, uh, that would be fine also. The main goal is to increase the number of people doing virtual open houses and virtual brokers open houses because that's also a great way for agents to get introduced to a property and find out the nuances that you really can understand or learn in a house just by looking at a virtual tour. We add so much value as you'll see in the virtual tour than just uh, in, in the uh, virtual tour demonstration. Uh, live via the Zoom program that I'm using, but you'll see that there's so much more to it than just uh, someone looking at their own pace uh, at a house. You know, we add different features to it, like we do when we show a house. And we could walk through a house on their own, but there has to be something that we do differently that adds value, you know, that we explain, that we point out. And uh, that's, that's what makes the difference, all the difference in the world. So virus with the stay at home rules, uh, it's the only way, right? It's our only way that we can uh, show a house today. So uh, virtual tours are great, but guided tours are better. So we're going to see, because I'm going to actually take you through the steps as we go through this video today. Not only will I show you what I do, but I'm going to actually walk through part of a tour and show you how I would handle it with the consumer, how I handled it last week. So this is a way to attract buyers, and it's also a way to uh, 
you know, to generate opportunities for new clients. When the consumers out there are saying, hey, man, you know, this agent is going above and beyond. They're showing homes through virtual open houses um, and guided uh, open house tours, or th that's the way to do it. So, you know, we're adding special value. And those that are doing this, I believe in my heart, I believe that the people that are going the extra mile will get the extra business when this all ends. It's not the reason we're doing it. We're doing it to help the people that we're serving now. But in the end, uh, the cream rises to the top. And those people doing these things, it's going to make a big difference. So it helps our sellers. Our sellers feel happy that we're doing this. Um, so uh, listen, buyers and agents are out there. They might as well get uh, used to doing some new things and to uh, find out... Um, new ways to see properties because we may be stuck in the house for some time now. I don't know how much longer. I hope it's not that much longer. From what I hear out there, we're looking at the end of May for real estate to open up. Most of the country is, is going to be open already. Um, in May 15th, things in New York State will be open, but not everything. And I think realtors uh, are stage two, which is Slated to be the end of May, first week in June. That's what I hear. Uh, it can change depending on all the numbers and everything, but that's what we're looking forward to. So let's be prepared, right? Um, are you going to be around for the rebound? It's going to be rebounding, and uh, we have to make sure that we're strong and, and uh, you know, we're, we're real players in the game as we go forward. So we have to do this. Um, well, what, is, what are some of the requirements? And, uh, you know, you don't need a fancy setup, but you do need to have basic stuff to get this thing going. Now, there are some people, they're not in New York because we can't do this in New York, but there are people in other states that go through houses with their cell phone and they do a Facebook Live meeting. That's a virtual tour. It's a live open house. Uh, that's the way they do it, and maybe we'll be doing it that way soon. So it's real simple. Pick up the phone. There are a couple of buttons to push. I'll show you how to promote it and everything, and... Um, it's really easy way to do it. We can't do it that way right now. So our way is by having a Matterport tour um, and or some sort of a 3D tour. I know Zillow offers a free app that a seller can go in and do a 3D tour themselves. And uh, there are other ways that we could do it. So, and I've even seen agents do it um, where they've done um, a virtual open house with photos where they just have fantastic photos of the house and they go room to room and they explain certain things. It's like a, they queue up the card of the house and then there's the kitchen and then they talk about the appliances and everything else in the kitchen. So there are ways to do it. You know, they're all not ideal, but let me tell you, nothing is ideal. This, the way I do it isn't ideal either. It's just, it's just a way. So we have to find out a way to, to do it now. First thing I do is I have the Matterport tour on my homes. Uh, and uh, they do a great job, and it looks beautiful. It comes with the floor plan, all that stuff. And then I have a, a, a Zoom account. And now Zoom accounts are free. You can have a free Zoom account. And if you're going to be doing this once, all right, use your free Zoom account. No big deal. You can have a few people on it. You're not going to have 100 members. You're never going to have 100 people at an open house anyway. In a virtual open house, right now, they're not even used to it. You're lucky if you get uh, 10. You know, it would be a beautiful thing. So, um so you set up your Zoom account now anyway. It's a free thing to do. Set up your Zoom account. And you have, uh, only thing you have is 40 minutes on it. But I'll tell you, my virtual open houses are scheduled for 30 minutes. And you can do it in 30 minutes. You shouldn't have it longer. It's not like 12 to 3 where you just sit there. I did that my first time. I did it. I did it 1 to 3. And I sat there for two hours. And, and people don't bounce around like they do in an open house. And you can't stop in the middle of your tour to uh, address a new client that comes in new potential customer. So uh, you really have to just go with it and uh, and have a limited period of time. And anybody who wants to come on the tour, they come on, on board at 12 o'clock and we're going to be finished at 1230, let's say. So you can do the free account. You have up to 40 minutes you know, to do it. If you want the pro account, which gives you um, up to 100 users in unlimited time, that's only $14.99 a month. So if you're going to be doing a couple of these things and you really think it's a value for your future, then I would suggest that everybody get a pro account for $14.99 a month. It's great. You can upgrade from there also. One of the things you could do is live stream to Facebook, uh, which I'm going to try to do. I haven't done it yet. I'm, I'm leery because my internet isn't the best, even though I upgraded it uh, last week. It's still okay. So what else do you need? Prepare, make sure all systems are working properly. So whenever you do this, I've had so many bad, bad recordings in the past. 
Uh, I've learned from my mistakes. I've made all the mistakes already. I'm getting pretty used to this stuff now, but let me tell you, I, I've recorded half hour videos and I'm just checking my lights on my microphone now. I, I, uh, I've recorded half hour videos and uh, when I went back to play it back, I didn't have the microphone on or the wire was loose or it wasn't plugged in. So uh, there are uh, certain things that we have to check and make sure that they're all working properly. So especially if you're going live, you don't want to be uh, messing it up. Me, it took me an extra half hour to re-record it again, and it sounded better afterwards, so it wasn't a bad bad mistake. But here you can have a big mistake. If your microphone and your, and your, your camera, your video camera, is not working properly, um, you know, I have a Logitech webcam. It works fine. You know, it. Uh, some people have, like, their, uh, their DSLR cameras. They're very expensive cameras on tripods, and uh, they do it that way. Um, I did it that way at first, but it was a little clumsy. I, you know, I figured an easier way is just get a webcam, plug it in, and that's it. You know, it may not be a 10 out of 10 in quality, but this, this webcam, it's Logitech Brio. It was more expensive than the other ones, and so it does give high definition. Um, and you can't change the way I look. I, my, my video, this is a good quality video. Just the way I look doesn't really uh, help it out at all, so it's very hard to make me look beautiful on the camera right now these days. Oh, anyway, uh, let's go through this. So, um, yeah, so what, what I like to do is I make sure my systems are working properly. I do a test run. Sometimes I have my wife uh, upstairs logging in to, to check out if it's, it's all working properly over the internet. And then I do, um, uh, after, I, after I get everything else prepared, and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I prepared, do a walkthrough with the seller. And that's, that was probably the uh, thing that I fell upon, but I would never not do it again. The seller, uh, you, you go through the house with them on the video tour and you say, point out what you like about the house. And we usually do that anyway when, we, when we're live, you know, but I, I took this listing virtually and I got the virtual tour guy there and they did it. And, um, and now now it's up to me to, to still do the same thing things that I did live as an agent. So I go through the house with them and say, okay, what do you like about this? These floors, are they laminate or are they hardwood? I'm not really sure. So she goes, okay, I looked into it, they're hardwood, fantastic. The, the heating system, it's a ductless heating system, fantastic. Tell me about that. Oh, we have this many units and it works really well. It's also, uh, it's air conditioning and supplemental heating. I don't use the heat that much, but sometimes, uh, you know, but whatever, you get differences of opinions. And I'm gonna tell you, when you're doing your video tour, virtual open house, uh, it's gonna come in handy because you're gonna add these extra little pointers in there and, and you know, spit out those little tidbits of information. And the person who's attending is gonna appreciate those little things. And they're gonna know that you've demonstrated your knowledge of the house and, and some of the greater features of it. So I did the walkthrough, asked them questions. You know, some of the things I didn't know what type of stove it was. This this seller had an Italian stove, a Bertoni or Bertuzzi or something. You'll see it in the video, but um, it was it was beautiful, and I didn't know anything about it. But I asked them questions this way. If I go through my virtual open house, I don't want to say I don't know. I want to know everything about the house. That's what we do. That's what we're hired for. So after we get all this stuff done, you know, we we go through the walkthrough. We know enough about the house. We have to learn how to market that virtual open house. So, you know, how do you do that? Well, it's the same way that we market a home before this stuff happened. How would you market an open house then? Well, you'd put it on Zillow, the MLS. You'd change, you'd advertise the open house there, Street Easy, Trulia, uh, whatever else, your company's website, wherever you got to do that stuff and make sure that, um, you know, it gets out there, the word gets out there. But you have to say virtual in it. You cannot just say open house. So I did it on Zillow and I got away with it and uh, I did virtual open house and then I did a flyer that goes to the seller. I'm going to see if I can show it to you guys here. I'll punch it up here. There's a little flyer that I sent to the seller. And this was their open house. And this goes on their door. They took a copy and printed it out. Virtual open house. Absolutely no in-person showings. Call me and register. So that's what they had on their door. This way, if anybody did come in, we protect them. That's, you know, and, and they like that. They said, you know, you're looking out for me. That's great. So I recommend giving them a little flyer for their door. Um... So uh, and then I, when you get that open, you promote it through social media. How many of you guys are on Facebook? How many friends are, we, are friends with probably everybody that's on this right now? If not, we should be. But um, promote it on Facebook. Promote it on uh, Instagram. 
My daughters are watching TikTok. I don't do TikTok yet, but uh, they're, they're trying to get me to do it. I'm not a good dancer, so we'll see. But um, wherever you can uh, on social media, promote it. Even, uh, you know, LinkedIn, if you have a sphere of influence that is uh, home buying or home selling, it's good, it's good to do it there as well. So um, we promote it through social media. We th promote it, um, you know, through flyers. I mean, you can still do flyers and hand them out like you did a, an open house flyer. I didn't do that yet, but someone told me, why don't you do that? I said, it's not a bad idea. Um, you know, just put the flyer out there and say, hey, come to my open house on Sunday. It's virtual, but come to my open house on Sunday. And then uh, the other thing that's really good um, is to promote by inviting your sphere on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, your sphere by you know going onto Facebook and and clicking on uh, the icon with your friends. You see who's online. You say, hey, you know, you're one of my buyers. You're looking for a home in the area. Why don't you come by and see this virtual open house? Here's a link to it. It's online. Tell me what you think of it. So um, let's see. This is the actual house that uh, I did my virtual open house on. Beautiful house. It shows so well. It's a good thing. Excuse me. And this is, um, that's one of the tips actually in, in the, in the book. It's, um, have something to drink while you're uh, doing your open house. Cause you're going to go dry mouth in no time. It's true. So that's another point I'm teaching while I'm going through the process here. So this is what my virtual open house looks like. Okay, so, uh, and I'll have a, um, a copy of the actual virtual open house for you. But this is what I do in my virtual open house. I, I go, my first slide is welcome. Welcome, here's what we're going to do today. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, this is a very special time in, in history. And uh, the most important thing is to keep our sellers safe, keep our buyers safe, keep our, our agents safe. So we got to get this thing through this thing together. We came up with this way to look at houses. I hope that you like it. I'm here for you if there are any questions. Now, you disclose to them. You say, look, we haven't done this many times. And if you're an agent that hasn't done it before, you're going to have a couple of issues. I hope you don't, but you will. Um, I did, and uh, my thing crashed out twice during my, uh, my virtual open house. But that's okay. I disclose it right up front. This way you set their expectations. Hey, look, this is the first time we're doing this. We're trying to help you out, give you an idea what the house is about, and give you a really special tour. But there may be some issues along the way. Just bear with me, and I appreciate uh, everything you're doing to be one of the pioneers in this virtual open house uh, adventure that we're on right now. So we do that, and they're okay with that. Um, you know, I give them a market overview, right? I'll, I'll share with those slides with you. An area overview, what's in the area. And this, cause this stuff, they don't get on the virtual tour themselves. They don't get the overview of the area. And then I go through the guided tour. That's the next step. The actual virtual tour, the Matterport tour. And then I have questions and a live chat afterwards. I give them the next steps. I say, well, Emmy's interested in making an offer to purchase. That's okay. You can still do that. And, uh, and if anybody's interested in getting pre-approved for a loan, I have a loan officer on the Zoom call right now. You can either hang in there and speak with them, or if you're just in the chat box, give us information or indication that you'd like to do that. We'd love to uh, have you chat with the loan officer. Just like you're chatting right now, you can speak with a loan officer live on Zoom. So, you know, my goal is to bring the level of what we're doing here to the next level. And, and, and I don't have all the answers, but with your help and support uh, and supporting the YouTube channel, uh, we're going to continue to do these. Things. It's going to encourage me to do different videos and tutorials to help everybody through this and help everybody move forward and move the ball, raise the bar and uh, do things differently going forward. And I think that's great. The slideshow I'm sharing now is the slideshow that I share with the consumer during the virtual open house. I tell them about myself, who you're talking with, you know, who, who am I? I sold over 500 homes. I'm a national speaker on real estate. I founded a tech company, so I'm familiar with technology and I'm familiar with real estate. So I've been doing it for a long, long time. And uh, I tell them a little bit about myself. That's all. Um, tell them where I'm working and, and that's it. First question I go through with the buyers now, because they're, hey, you know, they're really not sure. They need to hear something positive on why it's a good time to buy. And that's what I do go through with them. So is it a good time to buy a home? Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know. 
I don't know. It might be. It might be. So that's what we say. It might be. Here's what people are saying today when they are in the market to buy, and, and I do get calls all the time. Uh, this is why people are looking to buy now. Interest rates are low, uh, 3 to 4%, and I'll have my loan officer if they're on the call at the time say, hey, this is what they're... And I'll go, hey, what's, what, what are the rates today? And they'll tell me, oh, they're about this, this amount or that amount. Okay, great. Get other people to chime in during the presentation. It's good also. There are fewer buyers on the market. You know, there are a lot of people that are sitting back and waiting to see what happens. Uh, there's a pent-up demand, right? So it's an interesting fact. So some people are saying, you know, when this thing is over, people are going to be still out there looking for homes. And I know that's the case. And there are so many things that are going to happen out there. There's no place like home. So more than ever, things are changing in the way we live. Look how many hours we're spending in our home. If we hate our home, man, we're in trouble right now because we've been in our house nonstop. I'm so glad I had this basement that I had the extra space to get away from everybody so I could do videos like this and not be bombarded with the dog jumping on me or, or whatever's happening upstairs. I don't even know. But, you know, people are going to be looking for a place to have their home office now. They're going to need it. It's the way to do it. It's effective, efficient, and you just need to set yourself up properly. Um, I think that uh, in some families... They need the two home offices. The husband and wife are both working remotely and they need two offices. So that changes the requirements of a house. Um, so we're going to see things like that happening. There are also people that have gotten killed in the stock market. They're unemployed. Uh, maybe the seniors out there. And, and it's time for them to cash out. They say, you know, what do I need to pay this mortgage for? It's a big house. The kids are out. Let me get out. So it's a motivating factor. And life is short. You know, what are we waiting for here? Let me get out of this house, have no payments, and travel when it's okay to travel. So, life is short. Do it now. What are we waiting for? So, I suggest to them, yeah, look, if you find a house, you know, and there aren't that many out there that are in this neighborhood, that are in this price range, that are in this great condition, if you find a house that you love, jump on it. You know, so... I talk about the house then, I talk about the neighborhood first. So if you see this, I talk about, oh, here, here in this house here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more because it's a little hard to see, but um, let's zoom in a little bit more and you'll see here the uh, map. So I give them the map and they tell them about the neighborhood. So this neighborhood is Madison in Brooklyn. You guys know it. You're working in Brooklyn. You know this area. Beautiful area. Million dollar homes. Beautiful. Uh, named after James Madison High School. You know, that's right over here. Uh, and then uh, the borders are Kings Highway to the north, Avenue U to the south, Ocean Avenue to the west, and Ocean Avenue to the east. Why are we telling them that? You know, some people don't know it. There are some people that are just not as familiar with the area, and you're demonstrating your expertise also. Some other fun things I mentioned in the conversation, and look, the conversation doesn't have to be 100% factual to, uh, and, uh, and boring. It could be factual and interesting. So Bernie Sanders uh, grew up there, uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Senator Chuck Schumer, Carol King, and Judge Judy all came from this area of Madison and Brooklyn. So it's kind of fun to mention that. I talk about the schools, I talk about uh, you know, Cunningham, uh, junior high school. That's where my wife is a teacher, I'm proud to say. She's teaching right over there in the neighborhood, and it's a very tough job. And she's on the, her own uh, virtual meetings with all the kids, and I hear it. It's, it's crazy. It's a big challenge. They deserve a lot of credit, you know, for doing this. And uh, I appreciate what she does. Then I look at the walk score. That's an interesting number, right? Some of you guys know what that is. Some of you don't. It's a, it, very simple. Uh, it's how walkable is the area, how, how close by I think. Some areas, I live in Rockaway now, it's not a great walk, walk score out here. Uh, but, but here uh, in, uh, in, in Madison, Brooklyn, you can walk to anything. Look how close everything is. Kings Highway, North Shore Avenue, major shopping. And then the transit score, how many buses and stuff like that are there. So I go over that. Um, I go to the transportation, I show them the map, where the, where the buses are, what buses they are. I go into the subway, here's the subway. Uh, you can get over here on East 16th Street uh, or on Flatbush Avenue, whichever one you prefer. And I go into that a little bit. Uh, you know, so I'll, I'll have a nice little conversation with them. This is restaurants in the area. I always tell them some of the great restaurants. My favorite is Michael's 
restaurants, Italian restaurants a few blocks away. I like Marine Park. So I go into a little thing about the area. And there are so many kosher restaurants and restaurants to fit any, any appetite in this area. Fantastic. Then I go into a little bit about the house. Uh, the, I, I say this a few times during the presentation. It's detached one family. Uh, it's three bedroom, three bath, finished basement, 25 by 100, and 1249 the floor plan, I go over a picture of the floor plan, right? Nice to, nice for them to see that. So this is before I do the actual tour. So these are all things that they would not get by doing the tour on their own. And they can ask me questions during the process. I have no problem with that. Then we go into uh, the, the specific details. If they have any real questions, I can bounce back to that. And by the way, that's the picture that I put up on the MLS. I changed the main picture with a graphic. That went up to Zillow, and a lot of people saw it. Uh, so I just changed the picture on the website, and it worked fine for me. Uh, then I tell them, look, we're going to take a spin around the house. The icons, and you may not know this, but the icons on the bottom left, this is the dollhouse view that you get, and I'm going to show you that when I go live. Uh, the floor plan, the floor selector, so you want to jump from one floor to another. And, and then a measurement tool. So say you wanted to measure what the size of this room is, what this wall is here. You take a, a measurement tool and it'll give you a very, very close to exact measurement. And then this part over here is the share view. This is, you can share this with uh, anybody you want, your husband, your mother, your father, your kids, whatever. That's how you do it there easily. This is the, the, the goggles. If you're watching this with Google goggles, or any of those uh, 3D things. I don't have them yet. Maybe I need to get them, but uh, it's a great way to do it. Okay, so now we're ready for the actual virtual tour, but now it's a guided virtual tour, and you're going to see the difference, so let's get going. So in this version of the tour, I'm going to give you a short version, go through a couple of rooms, answer a couple of questions, point out a couple of... Uh, mm. <coughs> So hey everybody, it's John Reinhardt here, and now it's time for the tour. I'm going to give you, for this purpose of this virtual open house demo, a shortened version. We'll go through the house real quickly, and I'll go through a room or two, and you can continue to do that same thing throughout the entire house. So let's get started and get right to it. Here we go. So I'm going to show you my other screen right now, and this is a virtual tour screen. So what we do, basically in Zoom, is we share the screen. And uh, that's on your other computer screen. If you have two, if you have one, it'll be on the same computer. And, uh, and that's it. So here's what we do. I start like this. I say, let's go uh, straight ahead to the living room. That's where the tour begins. But what I like to do is go to this little button down here to the dollhouse. And that presents you with a beautiful view of the house all the rooms like that. I like the way it looks, really cool. So, but what I like to do also is I like to go right here and start at the front door. And that's where I begin my tours in the very beginning of the house. So we click on that and that should bring us into the front door. Okay, and this is it. So now what I try to do also is I show the front door and I also point out to the people that, hey, this is a great block. You can see some really nice shots of homes across the street, detached brick homes, and uh, I point out things like that while you have the front of the house view. Uh, we walk in the house. I'll go through this room, and then we'll glance through some of the other ones as well. I point out the alarm system. I point out the fact that there are moldings that are beautiful, uh, custom moldings above and down below, baseboard moldings as well. And then I'll pop into the living room. And when I get into the living room, I'll point out a couple of features that I like in the living room. And basically, you'll see that. So I look at the nice living room. And what hits me right away is the split units on the wall. So I'll talk about that. Just like if you're walking through the house in person, uh, it reminds you of certain things. So that's one of my stop points. And I talk about that. Then I walk into the dining room. You know, I'll, I'll go all the way around the room, of course, but don't need to do it today. I'm going to go a little faster than I would just to save you guys some time. Then I go into the dining room, another beautiful room, and I point out a few features in the dining room. Again, you can see the split units, and it's a nice open flow. So I'll bring out points like that. It's an open flow. It's not a full um, open feel, but it is enough that it's all 
uh, one big room if you have family over and everything. Okay, and then I bop into the kitchen. And again, this would be a lot slower. Um, if, if we were showing it to a client, we'd give them time to really look around. I point out that it's a beautiful custom made European kitchen, uh, with, uh, with uh, beautiful cabinetry and stainless steel appliances. I'll point out the stove is a special Italian stove. Then I'll point out, uh, some other facts that I like to show in the house. Uh, in this house particularly, um, I'll, I'll point out, I'll go to the corner because you can't really see the yard and I'll take a peek at the yard this way. It's nice. So look through your windows as if you were looking through your windows in the house itself. All right. Uh, so I point out other features too. Uh, you know, as I go along, there's a bathroom over here. Uh, there's a door for the half bath powder room. So we do that stuff um, as we go through the tour, but I'm, I'm going through the quick version. Then I go over here. I finished the first floor instead of walking up the stairs step by step, which some people did. And I used to do, I just pop on, floor three in this house floor three is the upstairs bedroom uh it'll leave me right there and you can give them a quick tour around there point out whatever you like to in that room point out the fact that the windows are all new um they're all renovated uh since they own the house uh, i point out some other features of the house that i like to but i go back into the hallway and then you get the point i go into the bathroom show them around. It's a beautiful bathroom, all that stuff. I take towels are beautiful. The bathtub is a deep tub. It's a little more special than the other tubs. So they enjoy that. Uh, linen closet, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, that's it basically. And I'll go through the whole house like that. I'll go through the master bedroom, point out what I like about the master bedroom. And, uh, and that's basically, uh, that's basically it. You guys know what a virtual tour is and you're just going around, walking around on zoom, and showing them all the details of the house. So that's basically it, okay? So I don't need to show you all that stuff. I pop down to the basement over here. I go back to the floors again. I finish this floor. I'm going back down to the basement, which is floor one. And, and as I'm in the basement, I'll see that there are, um, there's a spare bedroom there. There's some closets and I go into which, are, which have the utilities, which have um, storage for things and, all that great stuff. This is the family rec room. I go into the bathroom, the laundry room, and over here is the uh, heating system. So I take my time and go through each of these things. I walk through nice and easily, but uh, I don't want to take all your time on this part of the tour. It's basically the same old stuff. Once you get in, you're, you're doing what you have to do. Okay. So now the tour is complete. We've taken them through the house. We've pointed out some of the features. You can add things as you go along. Go through the tour a couple times yourself. Go through it with the seller. Go through it with, uh, I would say, uh, you know, one of your friends or fellow agents or your spouse. And uh, just, uh, you know, see how it sounds and go through it. You'll get better at it. But don't be afraid to start. Do it. It's not going to be perfect, but we're going to get somewhere with this whole thing. And, you know, all of us doing it will get the consumer aware that this is a great thing to do. It's a great thing for buyers so they can get to see some properties and maybe buy one. We'll see. That'll be the real victory, right? If I can get a sale out of this and if you guys can get a sale out of this. Okay. Last slide. Uh, one of the last slides here now is just as the, uh, I tell them, thank you for coming and joining us. Um, you know, I, I said, I'm glad you stopped by. Um, you're one of the early adapters, same things I talked about before. And then I go into a couple of other things. They can go back on their own, look at it, uh, using the tools that I talked about with them. And then if they have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And I talked to them about the things that we all spoke about. And then on this slide too, I, I put a couple of things in there too, because you know, if there are agents that want to have their, their buyers or seller buyers, I'm sorry, they want their buyers to join us on the uh, virtual tour. I'm happy to accommodate them. And I, and uh, the agent is protected. Just sign up and put your name in there and happy to walk them through. You could be on the tour as well. If you're not, that's fine. Just tell me they're coming and uh, we're all good to go. If they want to make an offer or something, it's all yours. All right, uh, so we'll do that. So um, I tell them to go back to the person who sent them there. So, uh, and if, if you're an agent, I'm telling you, uh, because there will be agents on these tours, I'm, I'm willing to help you any way, any way that, uh, that I can to help you to get these things going. All right. So thank you for joining me on this very special tutorial on virtual open houses. 
Now, I know it went a lot longer than I expected, and I'm glad if you did hang in there. If you hung in there till the very end, you are part of the one percenters who actually do that. So if you did that, then put one percent in the comments bar, and I'd be happy to check up on you later. But if there's anything I do to help you guys, you know, let's do this together. Uh, thank you for joining us today, and uh, good luck with your virtual open houses and your virtual brokers open houses. I'll catch up with you guys soon.